Hi guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 Team of the Season player review and in this video guys I'm going to be taking a look at the 91 rated Team of the Season moments objective uh, Casado from Lazio. I'm actually not too sure what he done to get this particular moments card. Um, I think he's had like an okay season. Lazio themselves have had like a decent season. I think they're going to be in the Europa League next year uh, or, or, or something like that. But uh, as a free card, he looks insane. Uh, the maximum you have to do to be able to get this card, you can either get it in rivals or in score battles. I feel like the highest thing you need to do is, is score like a finesse score using Serie A players in 10 separate matches. But the objectives for the most part are very, very easy to be able to do. I think I got this card in like the space of a couple hours or something like that in a mixture of a few score battle games and rival games as well whilst I was doing the Serie A team of the season player reviews and uh and this is a really, really good card. I mean, uh, three games, five goals, and zero assists. Four starting both skill moves and weak foot. Some very nice in-game stats. Like, of his 99 shot power, 98 positioning, uh, 92 ball control, 98 short passing as well, 96 strength. I had the basic counters that apply to him. Uh, unfortunately, he only has one player trait in flair, but I suppose it's better than anything, you know, than, than having nothing, I suppose. But um, as far as free cards go, he is very, very good. And there are a lot of good team of this season attackers that have been put in as part of the Serie A, of course, CR7, like Kaku, Martinez, uh, Dries Mertens. I suppose you can also class Insigne as an attacker. I reviewed him earlier on today. He was good. The Berardi team of the season is a good, cheap uh, player to be able to go for. Uh, Luis Muriel as well. And Casado kind of like fits into that now as like another really good attacking option from the Serie A. And... Uh, and for me, he was really great. He was going to get five goals in the three games. His finishing is, is superb. And it's that shot power. I keep saying it in my reviews. Shot power is so, so important. And it's already maxed out at 99, which is fantastic. His positioning goes from 98 to 99. His finishing remains at 91, which I'm fine with. So very high-end stats in both finishing, positioning, and uh, and shot power as well, which, of course, is very good. And obviously enabled him to go on to get those five goals in the uh, in the three games. Of course, his... Um, his pace was very good as well. He's very, very quick off the mark, which you wouldn't really expect from this card. I mean, he's got like, you know, 93 overall pace. Acceleration remains at 92 with the basic camp size. Sprint speed goes up to 98. And he's not really even with like a massive upgrade to him. He's not the type of player that you kind of associate with being extremely quick. But that is the case with this card. And it might be also down to the fact that he feels even quicker because of how good his dribbling stats are. But yeah, you know, very similar to a few of the other cards that I've reviewed over the past couple of days. Muriel, uh, Insigne. Once this guy gets past the defense, very, very few players in this game are going to be able to catch up to him. Maybe like a moment's Maldini or a moment's... Marcel Desailly or Carlos Alberto or whatever, but how many people are going to have them type of players in their clubs? Very, very few. So, so Casado and being able to kind of get past opposition defenders by using his pace and being able to you know sprint away and have one on one chances was something that was uh, was extremely easy to be able to do with this card. So his his pace, his finishing, very good. His dribbling's very nice, as I said before. Uh, you know, his dribbling goes up from ninety. Both his in-game dribbling and agility both go from ninety to ninety-four. His uh, ball control goes up to ninety-six. Uh, so, so you know, so again. Obviously, having the four-star skill moves, having the flair as a player choice as well, kind of just, you know, all ties in well with each other, just, you know, and, and that he feels so smooth on the ball, so agile. Uh, I thought his physicality was great as well, having that 96 strength and the 84 aggression, and that strength as well is, is further increased to 99 with the chem cell that I have applied to him, so... So, so he's great in that area as well. And on the whole, very good card to be able to use a good return. I think um, value for coins... Well, obviously, because it's a free card, basically, value for time, I'd put a 10 out of 10. You know, it's a card that... Um 100% is worth going for as a big 91 rated. He's useful for objectives. He might be useful just to throw him on sort of rest species. Uh, but even as like a card to be able to use in game is a really, really good viable option. And that his stats are absolutely perfect. You know, you know, cards like Team of the Season Muriel uh, and Team of the Season Aluto Martinez, of course, are very, very good cards. But they're going to cost you, you know, at minimum 250,000 coins. This is a card that you can get for absolutely free. And okay, fair enough, doesn't have the best card design. I've said that so often for the moments cards. I think the card design is very unappealing to me, at least in my opinion. But in game, where it really matters, this guy is very, very good. So uh, I would 100%, you know, recommend uh, anyone. Uh, going for this objective card. I think I think he's worth your time, put it that way. But anyway, guys, that will finish off for this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.